Hello and welcome to this episode. It is sure to be educative, entertaining and exciting. And if you watch through to the end, I have a special gift for you. So please stick around. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel or this is your first time, please do subscribe for this is how you support the channel, helping us to keep giving you great, educative, creative and entertaining content. And for today, these are what you will learn. I am sure you are excited already, so let's get it started. Alright, you're welcome to this dog rigging tutorial, but the first thing you need to do is draw out the dog because if the dog is not drawn out, you can't rig it, isn't it? So you draw out the dog before you start any rigging. And a quick side note, if you want to see exactly what I'm doing, you can go ahead and slow the video down so that you can actually see how I'm creating or drawing out the dog. Let's go! We've just drawn the, the dog itself and right now we want to rig the dog or the animal and basically the process is usually the same for all animals because they actually have the same um, four type of legs, two in front and two at the back and the head and so on. So it's basically the same if it's a horse you are rigging or it's a dog or it's a rabbit, it's somewhat the same, all right? We'll start with a very simple rig and I just want to show you how this is done and you can also go ahead and elaborate on the concept of rigging an animal. Alright, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to make this much fun so that you can catch all of my videos that will be coming to you very soon and make sure you stick around for the gift at the end of the day and let's get it started. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is that if you notice here, we have put all our layers into one folder called the dog and I'll have to just right click and I'll convert to bone basically that is what you just have to do if you are using Moho Studio to create your animal and the next thing for you to do is add a bone you come to your bone tools here you would see your select bone tool and you see your add bone tool here and the next thing for you to do is pick your add bone tool and add a bone. So what I normally do is my first bone is added here. I can add it below here like this or I add it above here like this. Whichever one you want is still the same but I will add this here below. So this will be the parent bone that will guide all other bones. So for the animal, I think let me use this layer to explain what I want to explain here. If you notice, <clears throat> the animal is divided into two parts so this is the way it is you have um, the upper body part and the lower body part so you want to be able to um, bone your character that you have that you will separate the upper body part from the lower body part so that you'll be able to bend your character in that way all right and we'll go back to adding bone so since we have the parent bone make sure that your parent bone is highlighted and the next thing for you to do is add your first bone here to the neck and the next one to the head all right and you can hold alt to highlight your um, bone here for the shoulders if you want to call that then you add the bone for the legs like this and you do the same thing for the back leg making sure that this bone is highlighted also you can go into the dog if you can't see that leg properly and turn off the torso just turn it off like this so that you can see what you are adding all right and you add it like this and you are done so the reason we are adding it like this is that you know from here is the laps to this point you have the knee which is cutting through and the foot all right so this is what you do for the back also so to add the bone to add the backbone all you have to do is highlight the initial parent parent bone and make sure none of these other bones are selected then you will add a backbone to the tail all right then making sure that bone is highlighted you now add a bone to the leg here like this and this drops to this point and this drops to this point and you can go back and highlight this same bone you can turn off the torso again to see the back leg like this 
and you go to your add bone and you add a bone like this to this point and you add this one to this point and you add to the foot all right and you can turn on back your torso making sure that your dog is um, the main layer is highlighted and making sure that this bone also is highlighted you add the tail bone and you can you can add a couple of bones for the tail if you want if you want to bend the tail in different ways something like this pretty simple isn't it and you can also go ahead and add a bone to the ears if you want to wag the um if you want the ears to move for your animal or for the dog rather in this case the next thing we'll do is you will highlight the head bone like this and you can highlight by coming to your bone tools here you select that or you hold alt and select that bone and you go to your add bone tool and you add a bone to the ear and you hold alt if you want and you add another bone to the second ear and with that done you have finally rigged your dog and you can also make this much more complex if you are adding a mouth to the dog but for this tutorial we don't want to make it too long so probably in the next tutorial i will show you how to turn the dog's head around and so on and so forth so if you want me to do that drop a comment below and i will show you how to do that but for this tutorial we are just going with a quick rig of the dog all right using moho studio that is so the next thing for us to do is we will come here to our bone strength and reduce the bone strength of this whole bone usually when you rig a character in moho studio you want to reduce the bone strength the former way of rigging in moho studio is using bone strength not now that we have smart bones which make makes things a lot much easier for us so the next thing we'll do is highlight all the bones and reduce the bone strength but let's test out and see what our character looks like while um the bone strengths are all heavy so we have this you could see we have our character already animated but you could see what is happening right here is not working as properly as you want but you could see why we have um our vertebra separated like this so we can do stuffs like this actually it's looking good already so um what we'll do is highlight all the whole bones using our select bone tool we highlight the whole bones or you hit ctrl a on your keyboard to do that then you come to your bone strength here this tool right here then you reduce the bone strength you can reduce it all if you want but you know just leave a little like one or 0 0.2 as it is right here and this is what you will have it's not functioning that much because we are going to be using smart bones to create the actions for the character so stick around welcome back now if you notice we have been able to you know add our bone um we have been able to add bones to our character and everything is looking uh, pretty good and functioning pretty well so the next thing for us to do is bind all these bones to each part of the character before we start um trying to create um, smart bones or we, before we create actions rather to make sure that the character works properly i will show you what i mean so the next thing for us to do here is bind the head bone to the head the ears to the ears the body the legs and so on and so forth and how do you do that it's just by clicking on the bone here using your select bone tool you click on whichever bone you want to bind to whichever part of the body or the vector and you go into that vector let's say for example the head so what we can do here for the head is we can directly bind this bone to the head and or we can bind the points to the particular bone but i would like us to go with binding the points because it gives us gives us a lot of advantage uh, we can bind other parts as we want so we can go ahead and bind just that head to that bone or ctrl z to unbind that or we select the whole head and bind it to this bone like this so we select the bone first then we select the head then we click bind so you could see the points are now are now bonded to the bone so you could do this in two ways and you can go ahead and mix the binding in whichever way you want that suits 
um, the animation you are trying to create so now we've bonded the head to uh, the bone so we'll go ahead and bind the ears also since everything is separate it makes our lives much more easier so we select the bind bone and bind the ears to the bone and we'll go to select our second ear and bind it uh, to that bone the head is already bonded you could see the head is already bonded so we just select it and bind it to um, the head and we go to the eyes did I create the eye different yes so the eye is selected and we bind it to the head bone you bind everything that is within the head to the head or everything that is on the head to the head all right so what haven't we bonded to the head right now so we have our head is bonded and um, I think we are good to go the mouth also we bind it to um, the head all right so make sure that everything is well bonded for the head then we go to the torso right now then if you notice now we can't just bind one part of the torso like this because it wouldn't work because with the torso we have two parts we have the frontal part and uh, and the behind part which is what i was trying to explain with the major bind and the bind point tool for this part what will be perfect is that we'll be able to use the bind point tool so i will on undo that and let the bind point tool be available so i'll select the um the front part of the dog and i'll use my bind point tool and hold control down and select this part of the dog and bind it to this point i'll make sure that this point is also bonded also so from here like this i'll select all this part and i'll bind it to the bone all right then i will select this part of the dog again and hold control and i'll select just this part like this and I'll bind it to that bone so if you notice they are now well bonded so now for the leg what we'll do is that we'll go to the leg here the front leg this leg F this one and what we'll do is we'll select the bone here and bind the top part bind the second parts to this lower bone and bind the foot to the foot bone and how you do that is really simple you pick your select bone tool your select tool here for the bone for the bind bone and you select that particular bone you want to bind by holding alt and select bone then hold control and select the points where that bone is around that area and you click bind and you do the same thing hold alt select the lower bone hold control select the points around that bone you want to bind and hit bind then did you do the same thing for the foot bone you select that foot bone holding alt down clicking to select you see it highlighted then you hold control and you select the point around the foot bone and you bind and you do the same thing for the other parts of the character so let's go to the leg b right now and do the same thing there which is this one We will see that our dog character is now well bonded uh, to the um, body everything is functioning at least to a certain um, extent properly isn't it so we can now go ahead and um, use our actions to correct the parts that are not um, correct like here and probably the neck also all right so let's go into our actions and quickly fix this stick around okay welcome back so if we look at this we will see that from what we have created we now need to adjust all the parts of the legs and so that the parts will start to function uh, properly well which is um, the reason for the using the smart bones and actions so the first part is we'll pick our head bone here by coming to the new action button here and click and add our new action and hit ok and when we go to um, frame 24 or 48 whichever um, suits you and we'll use our transform bone tool here and to transform the head uh, to this point then we'll go into our head um, layer and adjust the points properly all right we'll deselect that and we'll adjust the point to make the head look uh, proper 
all right because when the head bends backwards how should it um, look so we'll make this like this all right and probably just shift this here a bit and this should be somewhere here i think all right to have that curve flow going on right here so if we take this back this is what we'll have all right and i think the head is proper right now and we'll now go back to our main line go to our main folder double click on the main line and we'll do the same we'll go back to the action tool with the bone still selected and click new action and you add a b3 a second one then we'll go to frame 24 rotate the head down below like this then we'll go into the torso to adjust the points that we have there like this all right so we'll just adjust this real quickly it's more like hiding um, the parts and making it look proper so that when the head bends down how does it look and when the head bends up how should it um, look all right so if you notice this part here looks a bit awkward because it's um over the leg so what we'll have to do is we'll go into the head and adjust this part um, a little bit so that it blends with this other part so we could just you know probably highlight this whole part sorry and pick our move tool and move this part this way and use our and we'll just adjust it accordingly like this so we have this so the head up head down head up head down and we'll go back to our main folder double click on the main line and this is the way you adjust the whole part of the dog so that everything functions properly so follow me as i do this real quickly okay so because of time i had to do a time lapse and if you want to see how the whole rig is going and how i'm rigging all the legs and all the other parts you can go ahead and slow the video down so that you can see it properly all right all right so our dog is fully rigged and ready for animation just a quick side note just make sure that before you start animating you turn off all the bone strength of um, your character and make sure you just leave a little bone strength for your main parent bone of the whole dog but for the rest of the bones you just make sure that they are all turned off to um, zero as you can see mine here but if we see the main bone here if i select this bone here if you see it here you can see i just have a little bone strength uh, there so that you can actually um, you know use the bone strength to manipulate the character when you are creating your animation of some sort all right so you can actually you know rotate and maybe move the character around if you want to use this to move your character but if there is no bone strength at all on that bone you may have a couple of issues trying to move your character you could see what is happening because the bone strength is no more there or you could just bind the whole body to that bone but regardless that's just a quick side note so i'll control z to undo that so make sure you keep making great animations and keep having fun with your um character dog and whatever you come up with do make sure you share with me and do check out the next video and see something new and educative and learn something and let me know in the comments if my videos are being helpful to you and whatever you want me to create for you i can also help you with it okay see you in the next video If you have watched up until this point, I want to say congratulations and I hope the video has been educated, entertaining and enlightening. Do drop a comment below if you have any questions, special requests or contributions. And as promised, here is your gift. Do check out the link in the description below to get it. Most importantly, subscribe and support the channel and make sure you watch the next video to learn something new and I will see you there.